Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make an easy DIY flip book to send to your pen pal. Now the two themes I've got for you today is Alice in Wonderland and Cinderella. So it's going to be a full Disney video. I really enjoyed making this video. I'm going to show you step by step how I made this flip book. So I've slowed down the footage a lot so you can go back and rewatch it if you need to see again how I did a few things. And at the end of this video, I actually got a very exciting announcement for you. But first, I wanted to show you this stationery by Brenna Lowe. She kindly gifted me these letter sets. Um, her Etsy is called Dear Frankie Shop. I will have all her links to her Etsy and Instagram in the description bo box below if you want to go check them out. Now, I've also got some of her items in my shop, so some of her stickers, um, cards and tags as well. So I also sell them in the mystery stationery packages if I've sold out of some of her items on my shop that you want to purchase. Today, as I said, it's going to be a very easy flip book. So the first thing I actually did was I took out the cardstock pages out of a scrapbook. They've already got pre-punched holes. So there's eight holes all together. And basically, I've, I'm going to have six pages. So three pages and I'm going to be designing each side so once you flip it open it will look like there's going to be six designed pages if that makes sense so what I do is I cut the cardstock down to the size of the envelope that I'm going to be putting the flip book in because a lot of the time when I make flip books I don't actually think about the size of the envelopes so this is actually one of the first steps I do now before I make any packages for my pen pals Next, I'm going to create some pockets. So I'm going to create a pocket on the first page. I'm also going to create a little sleeve pocket as well. And that's going to go in between the punched holes. So you'll see me create these. Anytime I design or cut out anything, I do have to measure up those hole punch because at the end, I will be binding the book together with those holes. Um, so basically, what I do is I just get a pen, I circle inside of the holes on whatever I'm putting on top of the cardstock just so I remember that I need to keep punching out those holes so at the end they're not covered up by any of the designs or the pockets. So yeah, very simple, just line up whatever you need, circle it and then punch it out. I've just got a hand um, held one, but you can also get bigger ones that will actually just do four at a time, which are really great. Now all I'm doing to create this pocket is I'm putting double-sided tape around three of the sides and then I'm sticking it on. For the sleeve in the middle, you'll see me creating in a second. All I do is just cut out a strip, put it in the middle, and then I attach it with double-sided tape. So it's really that simple. And then all you need to do is decorate the flip book. And then once you've done that, you bind it all together. There's lots of different ways you can bind this flip book. I'm basically weaving the string in and out and then back the other way. And you'll see me doing that towards the end. Add all your little goodies in, add a letter, and then that's it. So enjoy the rest of this video. You will see me designing and I'll tell you about my exciting announcement for today. So before I tell you about what the announcement is, I thought I'd give some context. So I was standing in line at a grocery store a few weeks ago and there was a man standing in front of me with a cart full of groceries. He turned around, realized I was only going to buy one thing and gestured that I go in front of him. It put a huge smile on my face and it was such a small thing that left a huge impact. The following week, I then aligned back up at the same grocery store. I noticed there was a man standing behind me with a baby and just one box of crackers. And I knew, knew then that I needed to pay it forward. Again, it was such a simple gesture and the guy was really appreciative of this small, simple act. So then that following night, I was standing in the shower wondering how I can continue paying it forward. So I've set up a pay it forward system on my shop. 
And it's so rewarding when I gift giveaways to people who say to me that they probably wouldn't have been able to afford it themselves because of their financial situation. So if you're wondering how it works, I've basically set up an item in my shop called Pay It Forward. You select the amount you would like to donate. Once your payment is complete, I will then send an email to an individual who have signed up to pay it forward, letting them know that you have gifted them a stationary package. Now, it doesn't matter if you've donated $2 or $20. All this money will pull together and then once there is enough to cover the stock and shipping prices, I will then email a person. I will then pack and send your gift to someone who will really appreciate it. And I do believe that it's going to make someone's day a whole lot brighter. So if you're wondering how to apply and be part of this pay it forward system, I've actually created a whole page on my web shop. So if you go to mystationarycollection.net, there is a page called pay it forward and there's a how to apply section. You can click that button, put your email address in, your home address or slash shipping address and um, yeah, I will email you once someone has gifted or donated stationery to you. I will then ship the package your way. This is running on an honesty system, so please, I highly um, encourage people to only apply if they can't financially purchase these items themselves because you might be taking a spot away from someone who would value this a lot more. So yeah, that is the big announcement. There is a new pay it forward system. So you can now go donate a gift to someone who may not have the funds or budget to be able to purchase these items and create fun things like what I've created today. So you can either go donate or you can apply for um, this if you want to be receiving the gift. So if you don't fall into the category of being able to donate, but you also don't fall into the category of being someone who has a low income or budget or isn't financially able to purchase these items at this time, then another way you can pay it forward or help is by just sharing this video. So simply sharing this video or sharing my posts on Instagram to other people who might be able to help donate or it might encourage people who aren't able to afford these to then apply. So it's that way of just putting it forward for other people to find it. So I can't promise that every single person on the list who applies will receive a package. It is based on other people gifting these items. So it's going to be first in best dress. Your name will get added to the list and then hopefully over time you will receive an email from me. Um, but there are no guarantees for this one. So I do encourage you to apply um, and then I will be giving updates on my Instagram and I will also have a highlight in my stories where you can go check out all of those updates as well. I really hope you enjoyed watching me create these Disney themed flip books. I had so much fun creating these and I'm going to be creating these flip books again and again because they were, as I said, really easy ways for me to create. I love the idea that there's a front page, a back page, and then that middle page with goodies in between. So I think it's a nice balance having six pages to design on with those pockets and a little sleeve as well. So thanks so much for watching this video today. I hope you join in on our Pay It Forward project and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.